For your loved ones, you expect their bodies to rest in peace. Police in Elizabeth City, though, say someone is disturbing those final resting places at a local cemetery. You won't believe, in fact, what they found near the graves. 10 on your side's Lauren Compton spoke with the director of the cemetery. Lauren? Anita, it's extremely disturbing what we saw today. City officials say someone is digging up graves, then tossing the human remains. The cemetery director and the police say this has to stop. At times, Old Oak Grove Cemetery is the way it should be. Peaceful, quiet, and with World War II veterans buried here, it's a silent reminder of history. Then you turn around and see nothing is really the way it should be here. False teeth, um, parts of the skull, femurs, um, small fragments of bones that could be anything from ribs to arms or whatever. These bones are human remains. Last week, a city contractor found the remains dug up from a grave site. It makes you wonder about humanity. What has this world come to that you have no more regard for the dead? The police department is working to find out who the remains belong to, where they were dug up from, and give whoever this is another burial. Yeah. Bobby White and others who supervise the city cemeteries can't fathom why anyone would do this. It's indescribable. Like I said, it, it's sad, it makes you sad, it makes you angry. Captain John Young says police are looking at whether local funeral homes could have something to do with this. Investigators believe contractors hired by funeral homes are digging up the graves and then burying new ones on top of the old grave sites. I don't fault them for, for the digging process from, from the get-go, but once they are digging and they hit a, a old site, it's beyond me of why they don't stop. The department is now trying to bring back the peace that was once here, the quiet that used to be, and heal the hurt. You want to cry. You want to cry because it's sad. Very disturbing. The police department is going through burial archives and comparing those to recent obituaries to try to find out if contractors are indeed doing this. Investigators say this is not the first time this has happened at a local cemetery, but getting justice won't come easy. We'll tell you that part of the story coming up tonight at 6. Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.